Hello guys, um, just a very small thing I, I thought I'd kind of bring up with you um, with regards to buying parts for your uh, DIY or just for general sort of synth projects or repairs etc or anything sort of kind of electronics related really is just to be aware of the fake ICs which are going around and which could cause you a lot of headaches and thinking your circuits don't work worst comes to worst they can actually cause a small fire which could completely ruin a, a piece of equipment you've put together now what it is I bought these which are MN3 well supposed to be MN3007 ICs and I got this from somewhere on eBay and I'm not going to name and shame at the moment and uh, this is the second time I sort of looked at the price and thought oh that's a billy bargain let me give that a go um, unbeknown to me, you could get fake ICs. It's the first time I've experienced it, to be honest with you. I thought I was getting a good deal. Now, this here is a MN3007 bucket brigade device, which is used in sort of um, guitar pedals for choruses, flanges, delays, blah, 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 etc, uh, etc. Et so, yeah. So, I was actually sold some fake ones, which I shall hopefully be returning. Or well, not even returning, because they come from quite far, and I hope to get my money back. And over here, if we look on this side here, this is a genuine MN3007. Now I know this one here on, on over here is actually from about 1980. So I've salvaged, I've taken this out from something. So the, I know this is 100% genuine. Whereas these funny things here, look how strange they look. So, oops, yeah, they kind of. If you compare the two, you can kind of see how how different they look. I know we can't always go and look because we've advanced by about 30 years since then so you know labels and manufacturers could slightly change their products but I know this one was working in my circuit and I, I, I changed it over for these ones it just literally heated up and burnt my finger to be honest with you so yeah not a good buy so people out there beware Anyway, I'll catch you uh, soon, hopefully not with another complaint, with a, another tutorial or demonstration video. Anyway, take it nice and easy, people, and watch out. The bay is bad sometimes.